program, you'll learn about the structure and function of the adrenal glands and gonads. You'll learn how the adrenal glands help humans cope with both short and long-term stress. Later in the program, you'll learn how the gonads regulate primary and secondary sex characteristics. By the end of the program, you should be able to answer this question. What role do anabolic hormones play in professional sports and medicine? Jason, where are the adrenal glands located on this model? Well, these are the kidneys here, and the adrenal glands are on top. It's what adrenal means. Ad means near. Renal means the kidney. Adrenal, near the kidney. Here's a kidney specimen from a cow. Where's the adrenal gland? Well, this is the kidney here. That means the adrenal gland is up top. All this white tissue. Well, that can't be because all this white tissue is much larger than the kidney. And on the model, the kidney is much larger than the adrenal gland. That's right. This white tissue is all fat, but the adrenal gland is in there. See if you can find it. Is this it here? Yes. See how this shape matches the shape of the adrenal gland on the model. Jason, if you can cut this away, we'll examine it closer in the specimen tray. Sure. Okay, Sandra, if you can cut away the excess fat, you can slice it along the midline and we'll get a good section. All right. Can you see a difference between the cortex and the medulla? Well, the cortex seems to have a darker tissue than the medulla. Why is that? Each part of the adrenal gland has a different embryonic organ. That's important because the tissue they were formed from influences the way they function in your body. Medulla is a bundle of neurons of the sympathetic nervous system. It secretes a neurotransmitter, often described as a hormone. And what about the cortex? Well, the cortex is derived from a tissue layer in the embryo called the mesoderm. It's the same region that gives rise to the gonads. It's not nervous tissue. That is different from the medulla. Right. Also, the cortex secretes hormones as opposed to neurotransmitters. A second difference. Right. Well, that's the finish of this dissection. We need to dispose of these organs according to the regulations of this facility. We'll begin by discussing the adrenal glands and how they are involved in the management of stress. In the human endocrine system, there are two adrenal glands, each situated just above either kidney. Each adrenal gland consists of two sections, the adrenal medulla, or inner portion, and the adrenal cortex, or outer portion. Both the medulla and cortex produce chemical substances that help us cope with internal and external conditions that may cause short or long-term stress. The sympathetic nervous system is involved in preparing the body for stress. It innervates all the target organs in the internal body cavity as well as the sweat gland, hair-raising muscles, and smooth muscles of the veins and arteries. One of the primary target organs of the sympathetic nervous system is the adrenal medulla, which has more concentrated sympathetic innervation than any other organ in the body. It is actually a collection of modified postganglionic neurons. When stimulated by preganglionic neurons of the sympathetic nervous system, the cells in the adrenal medulla secrete excitatory hormones called epinephrine and norepinephrine. Okay, who recalls the function of the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system? Well, it's responsible for the body's actions in emergency situations. The fight or flight response. Right. Part of that response comes from the adrenal medulla. Neurosecretory cells in the medulla are extensions of nerve cells of the sympathetic nervous system. This is a really great example of how the neural and endocrine systems work together to maintain homeostasis. So a body's responses are linked to the adrenal glands? Oh, many of them are. So uh, what is secreted from the sympathetic nervous system to stimulate the medulla cells? A neurotransmitter. Any ideas? Acetylcholine? 
Right. Acetylcholine then stimulates the medulla to secrete its neurotransmitters into the blood. Adrenaline. It's more commonly called epinephrine. See if you can recognize any symptoms of epinephrine release.